From the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Thursday, August 18th, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. A fatal accident on I-81 southbound happened around 4.30 this morning near the Frackville St. Clair exit. State police said a driver of a tractor trailer lost control, hit a guide rail, and rolled onto its side. The driver of the truck was slowing down and got hit from behind by an RV. Two people inside it were taken to the hospital. The third crash happened in the traffic backup. Police didn't say how many vehicles were involved. Traffic was tied up for much of the morning, and some of it was being detoured to the hometown Mahanoy City exit. Two fires overnight in Hazleton. The first one broke out around 1230 this morning at 53 North Vine Street. The fire was contained to the kitchen on one side of the double home. Three people were displaced. The second one happened around a half hour later at 508 East Broad Street. That one broke out in a first floor bedroom. It was contained to the bedroom and the front porch. Three people lived there and were displaced. There's no cause yet for either fire. There was an industrial fire last night at Cyberline Manufacturing in the Tidewood Industrial Park in hometown near Tamaqua. It broke out around 745. It started in a mixer cylinder. Cyberline is a supplier of special effect and performance paint pigments. It uses aluminum powder in production, which is highly flammable. No one was injured, but traffic was closed at Tide Road, an access road to several nearby industries. The Wilkes-Barre Zoning Hearing Board Wednesday approved the expansion of Kistler Elementary School on Old River Road in South Wilkes-Barre. It's being expanded to add 7th and 8th grades as part of the district's plan to close Myers and Coughlin. The three-story expansion will have 24 classrooms and a gym. It's expected to cost around $15 million, but the decision will be challenged in court. Attorney Kim Bolin, who's been advising the group's Save Our Schools, called the zoning hearing a preliminary skirmish. Borland's been critical of the expansion and the larger school plan in general. He pointed out that the district does not have an agreement with the city to use a parking lot at nearby Minor Park. A corrections officer at Luzerne County Prison is charged with extortion. 41-year-old John Sakowitz of Plains Township is facing federal charges. He took bribes in exchange for allowing inmates in the work release program to take unauthorized furloughs. Stakowitz has entered a plea agreement with prosecutors and faces up to 40 years in prison. And that's according to the U.S. Attorney Peter Smith's office. Smith says it happened between November of 2013 and this past February. Prosecutors say that he took cash and other gifts, including cocaine, for giving the prisoners special treatment. A man drowned in the Lehigh River near Glen Oak, Glen and Oco Falls in Lehigh Gorge State Park on Wednesday. He went into the water around 4 p.m. and never came out, and that's according to the coroner's office. His name has not yet been released, but he's said to have been from out of state and was in the area with family. Senator Pat Toomey has changed his mind on the Trans-Pacific Partnership. He's now against it. Toomey wrote in an editorial published Wednesday in several newspapers explaining his problems with it. He says the agreement as it stands now isn't a good deal for Pennsylvania and he can't support it. Earlier, Toomey had indicated he would support it. TPP is a trade deal with Pacific Rim Nationals, which the Obama administration has negotiated. It has been shrouded in secrecy. A Carlisle lawyer who was once part of Jerry Sandusky's defense team is going to jail. Carl Rominger admitted to stealing more than $700,000 in client funds to feeding a gambling addiction on Wednesday. He was sentenced to five and a half to 18 years in jail. He is also awaiting sentencing in federal court after pleading guilty to tax fraud charges. Today, over 140 golfers gathered at Edgewood by Sand Springs for the 49th annual Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce Golf Outing. Registration began at 9 o'clock this morning with a shotgun start at 11 a.m. Hazleton Chamber Golf Committee Chair Pat Verastro said that today was sure to be a great day. So it's our 49th annual golf outing at Sand Springs. It's from the Chamber of Commerce at Hazleton at the beautiful Sand Springs Golf Course at Edgewood. And we're happy to be here. We have a full flight of 144 people showed up today. So it's going to be a great day.
Members of the Hazleton Chamber use today as a way to treat some of their business partners to a fun day of golf. In addition to the tournament, 14 other businesses were present as a part of the business expo. And as well as golfing today, we also have 14 additional businesses who are out on the course with the business exposition. So as the golfers go through and they're, they're waiting their turn to tee off, they'll have the opportunity to learn about some of the other great chamber members and their business services. So it really is an exciting day. All proceeds of the benef event benefit the Chamber of Commerce to help them provide the greater Hazleton area with many different events that are dedicated to business success and a better quality of life. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton opened a campaign office yesterday in Hazleton. Many supporters and volunteers came out to 230 North Broad Street in downtown Hazleton to witness the grand opening. An intern for Hillary Clinton's campaign, Joshua Narrow, believes having an office in Hazleton will help her campaign. Well, Hazleton's a tough area, you know, it's a completely uphill battle. The way we see it right now, it's 60-40 split, and you know, Trump does have a strong hold here. I mean, that's not something we're going to lie about. But I believe that if we launch a total visibility campaign, what we could do is bring out the Democrats who are a little too shy or maybe intimidated to get out there in the community. And that's mainly what it's all about. This event right here is going to be the first of many that you see that's all about visibility, showcasing the Democratic candidates, and really bringing that grassroots movement alive that talks about well, this is what we're for, and this is what we're going to achieve. Hillary Clinton supporter Agapito Lopez says he knows how important the Hazleton vote is for Clinton. Because I am interested in uh, defending the rights of the uh, uh, civil rights of uh, persons, and I know that this is very important vote uh, this year for preserving the rights of people, uh, consider, considering the negative aspects of uh, uh, the candidate against Hillary. And I uh, support Hillary because of her knowledge in the field, his exper her experience, and her uh, treatment with uh, international matters. Again, the Clinton headquarters is located at 230 North Broad Street in downtown Hazleton. Nanticoke Police Chief William Schultz has died. He's been fighting pancreatic cancer for the last several years. He had been a police officer since 1973 when he joined the Plymouth Township Police Department. He was hired by Nanticoke in 1990 and was appointed chief in August of 2012. Funeral arrangements have not yet been released. Well, it's time now for a first look at our forecast. Another hot heat day here in northeastern Pennsylvania. But as we wind down our work week, what does our weekend weather look like? Our Gary Perna is in for Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic and is in the Weather Center with all the details. Gary? could see some great temperatures this weekend. We'll tell you all about it coming up in the forecast in just a couple of minutes, Ann. Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, local fire departments are coming together to help out the fire departments in Louisiana after a devastating flood. Find out how you can help from our Abbey Piscal tonight. Plus, a rare artifact came to St. Michael's Ukrainian Church in Shenandoah. Our Aaron Harvey has that story. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way only on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DiBerardinas and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. Maylath's Farm has fresh produce, tomatoes, cucumbers, watermelons, blueberries, and everybody's summer favorite, sweet corn, and so much more. Everything under the big top, Route 93 across from Tom's Country Kitchen. Call 570-233-3087. They're open seven days a week. Were you satisfied with your child's education this school year? Well, take a look at what Marion Catholic High School has to offer. Students are challenged academically, spiritually, morally, and physically. Excellent student-teacher ratio and a full array of clubs and activities. 90% of all grads continue on to higher education. A sound investment in your child's future. Affordable tuition and scholarships are available. Log on to our website or call today for a free tour. Beach Mountain Lakes Restaurant and Lounge is open to the public Wednesday through Sunday. They offer great food and entertainment with a beautiful lake view from their 100-foot deck. Wednesday is Crab Lake Night, Thursday is their Burger Bash, and Sunday is Clam Night. Check out their live entertainment every weekend. 
All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Recently, Baton Rouge, Louisiana faced heavy rain leading to some major damage, but local fire departments in our area are working together to help them out. WYLN's Abby Piskel has the details. After Baton Rouge, Louisiana received 25 inches of rain in three days, Chief John Jack Jones of the St. George Fire Department in Louisiana and former area native contacted the West Hazleton Fire Department explaining that due to the heavy rain and flooding, there was a lot of damage and even several deaths in the area. The West Hazleton Fire Department is doing their part to help those in need and are beginning a collection of food, clothing, and monetary donations. And he reached out to us that they need items like clothing for children, men, women, infants, uh, children of all sizes, uh, cleaning supplies, and non-perishable food items. Uh, what we also have done, we opened up a special account at PNC Bank that people can make monetary donations made payable to the West Hailston Fire Department at any PNC branch. <clears throat> the collection began today and will continue until September. All items collected will be sent to Louisiana to help families in need. Because uh, next weekend, August 27th and 28th, we're going to be conducting a fill a truck uh, at Big Lots and Tractor Supply in Hazel Township, West Hazleton. Junior Fire Chief Brandon Cressman says that it's great to be a part of an organization that always helps each other out. As a junior firefighter, um, it's definitely a great thing to be a part of, and I mean, I see a lot being a junior here. Um, we grow up, we're a big family. It just shows you that across the nation or across the world that we're still one big family. You know, whether we're all the way in California or all the way here in Pennsylvania, it's a great organization to be a part of. Any and all donations are appreciated and can be dropped off at the West Hazleton Fire Department or monetary donations can be given at any PNC branch. Pretty much if anybody can help, you know, any donation is greatly appreciated. And, you know, we definitely want to help them out as best we can. And we ask anybody to help, you know, whether it's five cents to five dollars. In West Hazleton, for WILN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Thank you, Abby. Coming up next, Gary Perna is back with a full look at our forecast, plus a look at the shroud that made its way to Shenandoah. All that and more, plus sports with Eric DeBerardinas is coming up here on WYLN News. Stay tuned. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. M Valley Market, located at 699 South Kennedy Drive in McAdoo, is now open. It's your one-stop shop for gas or diesel, Green Mountain Coffee, Gears Iced Tea, Pennsylvania Lottery, tobacco products, and so much more. And don't forget, you can pick up your favorite candy and snacks. M Valley Market, 699 South Kennedy Drive in McAdoo. At All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. The summer clearance event is going on now. Stop in today.
right, welcome back to WIO News, and we're outside now, and just moments before I stepped outside, we got this little bit of a drizzle hit the area. Thought we were going to need the umbrella, but you know what? Passing stray uh, shower moving through. We got blue skies over towards the east, so not looking too bad here in the Bedrock Gardens Weather Center. And let me tell you, it was pretty pretty good. It wasn't really hot, really humid and sticky. You could feel it in the air a little bit, but it wasn't really that bad. Taking a look at the graphics for today, not looking too bad either. Uh, Temperature right now 79 degrees. The heat index though makes it feel 81. So that hot and sticky feeling, it's still kind of there and it will probably stick around for a little bit. But as we get closer to the weekend, probably won't look so bad. Moving on today uh, to the stats of the day, 79 as our high, 62 degrees as a low. The wind gusts about 14 miles per hour. So you know what, we really uh, can't say it was a really hot, awful day, but it was a pretty good day outside. Taking a look now at our other uh, state temperatures as well. And currently out there, Avoca coming in at 80 degrees, 77 in Mount Pocono. So today really not looking that bad. Nice cool temperatures, 80s pretty much across the state uh, in the Commonwealth. Uh, but otherwise, not looking too bad. Some scattered showers out there, as we said earlier, but pretty much sunny skies. The wind conditions today weren't that bad either. Staying calm to about 13 a peak out there, uh, five miles out in Mount Pocono, Allentown coming in at about six. So temperature is really not looking that bad either. Your seven day forecast here, not looking too shabby either, especially as we get closer to the weekend. Friday for tomorrow, partly sunny skies, high 82 degrees. The same will go for Saturday with partly sunny skies. Sunday, though, there is a chance for some scattered showers, but it will be sunny, high 78, a little bit lower, but that humidity level could still be up as well. And as we get ready for the work week, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not looking too bad. Thursday as well, partly to mostly sunny skies. In the 70s, we could hit 81 later in the week. But those overnight lows are not looking too bad uh, right now, and they will stay pretty nice uh, over the next few weeks. Stay with us, everyone. More news is headed your way right after this. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Beach Mountain Lakes Restaurant and Lounge is open to the public Wednesday through Sunday. They offer great food and entertainment with a beautiful lake view from their 100-foot deck. Wednesday is Crab Lake Night, Thursday is their Burger Bash, and Sunday is Clam Night. Check out their live entertainment every weekend. Were you satisfied with your child's education this school year? Well, take a look at what Marion Catholic High School has to offer. Students are challenged academically, spiritually, morally, and physically. Excellent student-teacher ratio and a full array of clubs and activities. 90% of all grads continue on to higher education. A sound investment in your child's future. Affordable tuition and scholarships are available. Log on to our website or call today for a free tour. Piscal. I was born and raised here in Hazleton and I'm excited to be a part of the WILN team to bring communities together through the power of television. A Shroud of Turn replica is at St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church in Shenandoah until next weekend. WILN's Aaron Harvey has more. Pilgrims from all over northeastern Pennsylvania had the opportunity to see and touch an exact replica of the Shroud of Turin. Many Catholics believe the shroud is a cloth that Jesus was carried in from the cross to the tomb. Pastor of St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church in Shenandoah, Monsignor Myron Grabowski, says they brought the shroud back for Shenandoah's 150th anniversary. The committee uh, for, the, for this celebration invited, asked me if I could bring the shroud back and if the Archbishop would allow it to come back to Shenandoah. A letter was written to the Archbishop, and the Archbishop graciously sent his blessings along with this for people to see. Monsignor Grabowski explains how nine replicas of the shroud were made. Pope Benedict XVI had commissioned nine shrouds to be made when they had the high-definition cameras on rails that went around the whole shroud 
so that they could have some other proof for themselves to study. And what happened is uh, he commissioned that nine be made. We've been blessed that the Arch Eparchy of Philadelphia for Ukrainian Catholics uh, have been entrusted to care for it. And it goes around the United States to different parishes. The 14-foot-long Shroud of Turin is an exact replica of the original kept in Turin, Italy. It is the single most studied artifact in human history. It's been studied uh, countless times, and the thing is about the Shroud is either you will believe or you won't believe. There's no in-between lines. And, the, and just the awesomeness of it, the, uh, just the look and witness of what occurred to this man is something. Because remember, the Romans had a law that you were either uh, scourged, and then you, and then you were set free, or you were crucified. Jesus is one of the few individuals that was crucified, as well as scourged before him. So that's something to see there. From the different studies that were done, it has shown many different things. For instance, it was put under black light, the original, and they saw that the blood stains were real blood stains. Pastor of St. Mary Magdalene Parish in Media, Pennsylvania, Monsignor Ralph Chifo, gives us his take on the shroud. The shroud is a, an icon is a, of God's presence, and, show, and it's a sign to us that his presence is still here, as every icon helps us to know uh, the power and the presence and the peace of Christ. Monsignor Chifo explains how we can relate to the shroud. So for those of us who are troubled in the world, those who are worried about who's in charge, the Lord is still here. And this image, this sacred image, reminds us that Christ still suffers as we suffer, but also wants to rise to new life. The Shroud of Turin will be on display every day until Sunday, August 28th at St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church in Shenandoah. For WILN News, I'm Erin Harvey. Thank you, Aaron. Coming up next, Eric D. Baradinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Gary Perna will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. At All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, all-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. The summer clearance event is going on now. Stop in today. Maylath's Farm has fresh produce, tomatoes, cucumbers, watermelons, blueberries, and everybody's summer favorite, sweet corn, and so much more. Everything under the big top, Route 93 across from Tom's Country Kitchen. Call 570-233-3087. They're open seven days a week. News Director at WYLN TV 35 in Hazleton. I am so proud to be a part of such an amazing news team to be able to bring the community together through the power of television. Matt Watherspoon is a local kid on a big stage that could get bigger. This season, the Yankees prospect has split time with AA Trenton and AAA Scranton Wilkes-Barre. On a recent day off from the Thunder, Watherspoon came home and chatted with WYLN Sports about his efforts at home. It's not often a professional baseball player coaches a youth fall league in the offseason. That's just who Matt Watherspoon is. The mountaintop native in the Yankees organization still lives in his hometown and enjoys giving back to his community. I think any time you can give back, especially to kids, uh, is great. When, when you're put in the position that I am and uh, get to help kids out, I think, I think it's a great thing and it's a great opportunity that more people should take advantage of. His work in the area is noticed by many, including the head coach of his alma mater. Last year, um, he actually coached a fall team, uh, and my son was uh, part of that team, so I really appreciated that. Watherspoon has been pitching in Trenton and Scranton Wilkes-Barre this season, and he has been effective, especially with the Rail Riders. The perk of playing with the AAA club is that he's close to home. When he's home, he's just a regular guy giving lessons in the winter and working with clinics. But to everyone in the area, Watherspoon isn't a professional baseball player. He's just Matt. 
It's nice being so close and trying and scrying this year. It's You're right, I've been home multiple occasions, and you're right, it's like I never left. That's Watherspoon's high school coach, Mark Madrosky. The two still have a close relationship, and part of the reason is Watherspoon's attitude towards the game and towards life. Number one, the, the type of person Matt is, is part of the reason why he's where he is today. I mean, he was very coachable, uh, respected his teammates, represented his family, represented our school. Watherspoon's ultimate goal? To throw off the mound at Yankee Stadium. Everything you do is just working towards that. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, we've had, we have winning ball clubs in Trent right. and in Scran. So, you know, kind of just trying to be where my feet are and just take it day by day and enjoy enjoy where I'm at. Right. Reporting from Mountaintop for WYLN Sports, I'm John Eric Poli. Throughout our high school football previews, we share stories of teams with lofty goals like making the playoffs or winning a championship. Panther Valley has a different goal. The Panthers, who haven't had a winning season since 2009, are abiding by an old sports cliche, refusing to look ahead with the sole goal of getting a week one victory. We're one of those teams where we're looking, we're, we're very young, even though we have some experience, but we're looking to get better every single week. We, our goal right now is 1-0. That is it, we're not looking past that. Uh, it's been a while since we were 1-0 at PV, and, and that is our goal right now, and we will reevaluate re after week one. Last year we played in a lot of games, uh, fourth quarter rolled around, and we, we were in a lot of tight games last year. You know, we learned how to play in games. This year we're looking to win games. Week one comes against Columbia Montorvo Tech, in which Panther Valley will debut a new offensive scheme that has players very excited. We got a new offense this year, and it's designed to like push the other team and create tempo to, for us to push them and um, break them down so we can win more games. As a fast-paced offense, we're expecting them to score a lot more than last year. We got to stay with it the whole game, have more stamina throughout the whole year, and just finish games. That's it for sports. Stay tuned. M Valley Market, located at 699 South Kennedy Drive in McAdoo, is now open. It's your one-stop shop for gas or diesel, Green Mountain Coffee, Gears Iced Tea, Pennsylvania Lottery, tobacco products, and so much more. And don't forget, you can pick up your favorite candy and snacks. M Valley Market, 699 South Kennedy Drive in McAdoo. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. All right, welcome back. 70 forecast here. Not looking too bad Friday and Saturday as we get ready for the weekend. I know I can't wait for it. Not looking too bad. Partly sunny skies, 82 degrees is high on tomorrow. And again on Saturday, 61 degrees. And as we get into Sunday, could see some uh, scattered showers. So just be aware if you're out there doing stuff on Sunday, you just may want to have an umbrella or a rain jacket handy with you just in case. But you know what, Ann, we're getting ready. Uh, temperatures are starting to cool down a little bit. We're getting ready for Friday night football. How about it? I know our sports crew is ready. They're all geared up. We gotta pack up the truck and get it all ready for Friday night football. Yes. Hazleton, we got a great lineup this year. I know that. And Eric's been previewing all of these teams so you can see them during practice mm -hmm. and how much they're working, you know, to be the number one team here in our area. I so. know a lot of football going on. W Island Sports could be very busy. Our sales department has been very busy, so uh, we're waiting course fall we're, we're excited for fall here and, and bring on the sports so a lot going on of course and you know weather plays a big part in this so hopefully we had this hot and mild summer that will continue to a nice mild fall and we won't see that snow until like you know December 24th we'll be okay all right, well, we can wait till December. I don't know if uh, Mother Nature will want to wait, I, yeah, but all we can hope for... We can put that order in and see. All we can hope for is those Friday night football games to continue on. And of course, good luck to all those teams out there. And our sports crew is ready. Our first game is on the 26th. Can you believe it? It's already next Friday. It's unbelievable how fast it's going. I'm ready for hoodies and hot chocolate and fall. 
Yes. I'm, I'm ready for that. No, fall is nice. It has been, it's been a late hot summer. It has been. So we didn't, it, it kind of all, the heat kind of went mm -hmm. to one month, and I think we're all good with it now. But we'll see what happens. Hey. All right. Have a good night, everyone.